Today's webinar is also being uh, presented in part by the I Am Responsible team. Um, this is a nationwide extension team focused on topics of antimicrobial resistance. You can learn more about our group at IAMRproject.com. Um, you can also search for past webinars we've done on this topic uh, with the LPELC group. Uh, look for a uh, search for the tag I am responsible at lplc.org. For anyone who's not familiar with uh, the term antimicrobial resistance or AMR, I'm just going to take a quick moment to describe what we're going to be talking about here. Um, you may be already familiar with the term antibiotic resistance. Um, and that is part of the AMR issue. Antimicrobial resistance is a kind of umbrella term that includes antibiotic resistance. Antimicrobial resistance starts with um, naturally occurring genetic mutation among specific species of microbes, and that could be any kind of microbe. We're talking often about bacteria, but it could be another type as well, like a fungi. Um, and so there's a lot of natural variation in a genome of any kind of these species, just like there is in humans. But some of those, some of that variation um, results in some of those microbes being, having adaptions that allow them to resist or tolerate the presence of an antimicrobial. And here again, an antimicrobial does include antibiotics, but there are a broad range of, compound, of compounds that we use to control microbial life, different source, and they're all classified as antimicrobials. And so what happens is when we use one of these antimicrobials, some of the microbes um, that we intended to control but are naturally resistant, um, and so they are able to survive the use of the antimicrobial and when their competition, which was not able to survive the use, is killed off, then they, are, they sort of take over their environment and get to grow quite a bit. And then the result is that we just have a reduced effect of antimicrobials over time. And that can have pretty big impacts on both human and animal health. We use antimicrobials pretty widely, specifically antibiotics, um, to treat common pathogens in human and veterinary medicine. And so the challenge of antimicrobial resistance, AMR, um, because it's caused by this sort of natural mutation, it's not something that you can necessarily eliminate. It has to be uh, controlled. And so um, we can control it in livestock production through effective infection prevention and nutrition, but also um, by uh, improving our ways to target uh, specific animals or specific microbes for um, antimicrobial treatment um, rather than treating an entire herd. And so that's what we're going to be talking about in today's webinar. We're joined by three experts who are working on technologies and methods for targeting specific animals or specific microbes um, with um, antimicrobials. Uh, Dr. Tammy Brown Brandle is a professor at the University of Nebraska in the Department of Biological Systems Engineering. And her work focuses on um, precision animal um, management um, and using technology to provide important information to livestock caregivers. Um, Dr. Justin Loy is also at the University of Nebraska. He is the head of the Veterinary Diagnostic Center here at UNL. And he has worked a lot on um, research to identify new methods to um, quickly uh, determine what um, pathogen is causing an infection in an animal and what micro or antimicrobials would be best used to treat that infection. And Dr. Daryl Nidham is a veterinarian and professor at Cornell University, and he works primarily in, in dairy production. He's focused on developing knowledge and guidance tools uh, for um, both the on-farm veterinarian and, and the caregivers to know when and when not to treat an animal with antimicrobials. So we thank them all for joining us. Mm -hmm. 